from a place we're not allowed to reveal. It's the, 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 the Tom Likas Show. All right, yeah, that's pretty cool. And now, and now, here he is, Tom Likas. Thank you for tuning in to the Tom Likas Show. This is where America gets together to talk about the issues you really care about. It's a different kind of a radio talk program. We're the radio talk show that is not hosted by a right-wing wacker or a convicted felon. No! I am your host. Write down our telephone number. You're going to need it. It's 1-800-5800-TOM. 1-800-5800-866. Thank you for tuning in. Thanks for being part of our program. Here we are together again on the radio. Seth writes in. And he says, Tom, I work in a marketing agency. And one of the women in my department has decided to throw a shower for a couple of managers who are married. They posted this invite. Here's the invite. We are planning to have a baby shower for the, let's call them the Smiths, on September 19th from 11.30 a.m. to 1 p.m. We ask that those who would like to attend pitch in 15 to $20 per person. This will include a catered lunch, beverages, cake, and dollars, a dollar sign, towards a gift card. I will need dollar sign to me by Friday, September 12th. Seth writes... This seriously pisses me off. I don't think it's appropriate for starters, but surely, if I do not participate, it could reflect poorly in terms of reviews, etc. Shouldn't this garbage be handled outside the office? And finally, Seth says, what a joke. I think Seth is absolutely right. I don't know about you, but with the large number of lawsuits, threatened lawsuits, trips to the Human Resources Department, company meetings to discuss inappropriate behavior in the office or sexual harassment or racial discrimination and what have you, I do as much as I can to not know anything about the personal lives of the people I work with. In fact, I have bent over backwards over the years to keep my little crew of me plus three in a separate location from everybody else. You may notice that our program comes from a secret location at a movie studio, while the other shows on the station come from other places. And among the reasons for that, is that I don't want myself or my guys walking around the office where anything you say can and will be used against you. I don't want to socialize. I don't want to go to your birthday party. I don't want to go to your baby shower. I don't want to know if you're getting married. I don't want to know if your kids are graduating from school, if there's a bat or bar mitzvah in your future. I don't want to know. And this idea of posting these events in the office where everybody can see them and soliciting donations or participation in these events, I think it's time to stop this. Not only because, frankly, you should keep your personal stuff personal, but also I would think companies would be worried about whatever litigation could ensue from people fraternizing in any way. I certainly wouldn't want uh, the company, uh, if I were 
the human resources department or the top management of the company. Uh, I would not want somebody's personal baby shower or somebody's, you know, birthday to turn into a disaster. God only knows what people will say to each other. That could end up being actionable. I can't believe companies even allow this. But more importantly, you know what? I'm tired of people in the office who don't want to do any work. They spend their time coming in in the morning and figuring out ways to enhance the social life of everybody at work. I don't know about you. I come to work to work. If I don't have work to do, I keep to myself. I don't go around looking for trouble. I certainly don't talk about things going on in my personal life. Things happen in my life. I have birthdays. My brother comes to town. We spend time together. I don't have parties and invite the office. I don't bring people in on this stuff because I don't want to get in trouble for it. And frankly, I think your personal life should stay personal. It shouldn't be in the office. Anything you say, if you drink too many beers in front of the boss, they're going to make a note of that. If you say anything edgy or controversial, somebody's writing that down. I, I think you are just absolutely crazy. If you want to have your personal life splayed about in the office, and I am tired of people pitching me on, uh, and happened over many years, their daughter is selling candy bars so their class can go on a trip. The son or daughter is selling Boy Scouts or Girl Scouts cookies. Uh, in some way, we're supposed to get involved in this. Call me kooky. You won't be the first. But I think people's personal lives should stay at home, don't you? Tom like it. one 800 800 tom one 800 800 But headaches and problems. It's the Tom Likas Show. The Tom Likas Show. At one 800 800 tom What is it with people who are constantly coming up with these little social events in the office? I haven't even mentioned the fact that usually the instigators are females who, rather than doing any work around the office, spend their time coming up with parties. Oh, it's so-and-so's birthday. So-and-so's having a baby. So-and-so's getting married. It's like, fine. That's their problem. Get back to work. Jeff on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hey, Tom. Hey, Jeff. I've been uh, hearing you for since I was in sixth grade. I like your stuff. Love it. Yep, yep. Uh, anyway, here I work at a small insurance company in Woodland Hills, and there's a bunch of girls. Actually, it's all an all girl office. I'm the only guy, uh, and I always hear everybody, "Oh yeah, this person's having a birthday. You want to come? I'm having a baby shower," and it's when the when the company managers out there oh that's all he's talking about as soon as he steps out and i get sick and tired of it always hearing it and i'm the only guy there so i have to deal with it so do you refuse to participate uh yeah i mean it's all girls they're all married they're it's 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 crazy it's like i i don't want to participate in something like that i worked in insurance companies all my life since i was like in high school summer jobs and all it is is it is all women. The guys don't even talk about that. It's all personal, and if they like you, they'll invite you to a bar. But women want to, want to invite you to their parties, their personal baby showers, or family events. It's I go. I don't want to do it. I don't know the people, and I only know that one person. I feel nobody's like, doing any goddamn work. Whatever happened to coming to work and doing some work? Don't do work. They don't do work. All they do is just uh, gossip and uh, the typical uh, office politics. I hate that. Uh, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I've been stuck in the office for, I'm, I'm trying to, oh, well, this is only for college, but, yeah, I've been stuck in the office for a long time, and that's all I hear. I just refuse to participate. 
I've okay. never bought a I've never bought a candy bar when somebody's kid uh, needed to go on a trip at school. <laughs> I have that a lot too. I get that uh, a lot too. I yeah. have never bought a Girl Scout cookie. Not in the office. I never have. Yeah. Uh, I generally uh, don't make it people's birthday parties. Yeah. I just stay away from that stuff, and it's nothing personal. I mean, it has nothing to do with the individuals. I like to keep my private life private. Correct. Yeah. I don't understand this desire for people to share every private moment in their lives with the people they work with. Oh, yeah. They, they, they always do. They always send emails to everybody. Um, hey, I'm having a party. Let's go. Um, my kid's turning one. Yeah, it's always like that. That's not our problem. So what? Your wife crapped out a kid? Big deal. <laughs> uh, so we, should we get all excited about this? I don't, I don't understand. Uh, look, you want to have your friends over for a birthday party? You want your friends over for a baby shower? That's fantastic. That's what life is all about. Uh, take a lot of pictures, save your memories, enjoy it. Exactly. Uh, why do you want to take the people you work with? Most of whom just want to get into work and get out of work and get That's a paycheck right. and go home. That's what Why? I do. Why do we have to talk about our personal lives in the office? What? What is this all about? And the instigators, indeed, are generally women who aren't doing any goddamn work. Right, right. Well, anyway, Tom, thanks a lot. And uh, check me out uh, if you can, uh, Kobe style. Here you go, Jeff. Oh. Oh. This is about us. Oh. She's so special to me. Oh. Yeah, it beats in my heart. Oh. The air I breathe. She's so special to me. 1-800-5800-TOM. That's our telephone number. Yes, the listener wrote in and complained that he's being asked to pitch in on a, a party that is ostensibly a baby shower for a co-worker. He's worried uh, not only about the, the money he's asked to pitch in, but if he doesn't participate, he's worried about how it's going to affect uh, his you know job performance ratings and what have you. People shouldn't have to worry about that stuff. Shouldn't have to worry about that stuff. 1-800-5800-TOM. That's our telephone number. Here comes Pete on the Tom Likas show. Hello. Hello, Tom. Hello, Pete. Tom, let me tell you about this uh, bitch of an office manager I used to work for. Jesus Christ. On our schedules that she'd print out uh, for uh, uh, for all of us in the office, She'd uh, remind all of us whose birthday it was, on what day, um, who's having a kid, all this other ridiculous crap. Um, it's outrageous. I don't understand why anybody would care. I, and I don't understand why people come to the office and don't do any goddamn work. Oh, it, it was it was her and two other ladies that worked in there. I was the one that uh, worked the bulk of the load. I took the crap shift, and, uh, you know, I put in all my time and effort into it. It didn't pan out. I said, screw you guys, I'm gone. <laughs> I hate that stuff. I just don't understand it. No doubt. Don't You're pissing me, me off. Whip. Here you go, Pete. It's 1-800-5800-TOM. That's our telephone number. Here comes Steve on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hi, Tom. Hi, Steve. Uh, just uh, got a quick comment uh, about the the parents who bring their uh, Girl Scout cookie books to uh, the place of employment and insist on you uh, and holding the book in front of you until you buy some Girl Scout cookies from them. You know, I'll buy Girl Scout cookies all day long if, if, the, if they come up to my house ring my doorbell, and ask me. I don't care if the parents are out on the sidewalk standing at, out on the sidewalk waving, but when they bring it to, bring it to the place of employment and lay the big guilt trip on you that, you know, I'm your boss, you better buy some cookies from me. Uh, everybody else is. You can see the names. You know, that really uh, boils my blood. I really hate it. Now, do you uh, fight back? Do you say, get away from me, or I'm not interested? Do people know you don't want to participate? Well, what I do is I say, you know what, you bring your daughter to, to work or, uh, you know, bring them by my house, whatever, have them knock on my door, I'll buy the whole GD box. But, 
you know, to, to bring the book to work and just, you know, I mean, it takes all of the the salesmanship out of the whole the, the whole principle of trying to show the kids how to sell stuff. Well, Girl Scout cookies number one should be sold by Girl Scouts, right? If your kid needs to sell a certain amount of bad chocolate bars in order to go on a field trip, right? Uh, why are you doing it? Exactly. And uh, they just get really offended when you tell them, that, you know, I'm not going to buy any cookies from you, your kid. Yes, but not from you. You know, the, the other purpose is to teach the kids how to sell, you know. And uh, just, uh, just my real quick comment there. Thank you for that, Steve. Hey, c Tom, can you take me out Kobe style? I certainly can. Oh. Oh. This is about us. Oh. She's so special to me. Oh. Yeah, it beats in my heart. Yeah, the air I breathe. She's so special to me. It's 1-800-5800-TOM. Here's Daniel on the Tom Likas show. Hello. Hey, Tom. How you doing? Great. Uh, the reason why I'm calling is uh, I usually disagree with you on a lot of things, and this is another one. Um, the way you say that these people shouldn't bring their personal life to work and all that. Right. But uh, my question to you is, isn't that what you do every day? That is my job. Uh, like an author, like a writer, uh, that's my job to talk about my life on the air. And the reason I talk about my life on the air is because there are people listening who relate to it. It's my job. Now, if my job were working in an office, you wouldn't hear a word about my personal life. That's the only reason you hear about my personal life, and I might add. I never go on the air and say, could you pitch in $15 because somebody here at the office is having a baby shower. And, uh, uh, I and you love, by the way, turn your goddamn radio off, you know? I mean, come on. How long have you been listening to talk radio? Do you really have to turn the radio up? Sorry about that, Tom. Bag. Jerk. Creep. <laughs> What's what was I in the sixth grade last time somebody called me a fag? <laughs> fag. <laughs> well, little boy, would you come up with something a little more adult to call and insult me? You call right back. <laughs> you little jerk off. 1-800-5800-TOM. That's our telephone number. Here's Ryan. On the Tom Likas show. Hello, Ryan. Hey, Tom. I just wanted to say you got no sense of camaraderie. You got no sense of teamwork. There is no I in T E A M. The whole reason you bring your what? kids stuff to school is, to, uh, I mean, to work is to help out your child. And it isn't our job to help out your kid. Your kid is supposed to be doing that himself. We are not supposed to be doing it for them. Yeah, but parents can help out in any way they can. If They're not be supposed in your kid's to. Life, that, well, they're not supposed to help out with that. They should help out. And they're I not supposed to. And I don't want anyone coming up to me at the office and trying to put the hit on me for anything other than to do my goddamn job. And I think if any of my friends who are my co-workers would help me out, because I'd help out their kid. You know, I have nothing but guy co-workers. Don't do it in the friends, office. Don't do it in the friends, office. Don't when do I, it in the office. When I had my twins, don't they were do all it proud. in the office. They were, I'm just telling you that they were all proud. That they were all there was handshakes all the way around. I don't and, care. Uh, this has uh -huh. nothing to do with work, and it shouldn't be going on at work. What, do you, yeah, but uh, why do you think the Japanese are so successful? Because they have 100 percent camaraderie at their plant. Actually, 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 I've read a lot about the Japanese, and what they have is regimentation. Yeah, but I mean, they're, they're really... They're, they're really not pitching in 15 yen for people to have a birthday party. <laughs> oh, okay, well, maybe a birthday party might be a little bit too extreme. But I hang out with my uh, co-workers after work. We go play pool. Or Do whatever you like after work. When I'm in the office, I don't want to hear from you. But again, if you're a friend of mine, I would say help me out. And uh, and uh, help out my kid. And I don't. When I'm in the office, your kid is not my concern. My concern uh, is getting through my day's work, well, and then getting paid. Yeah, but we can't get through it. We can't get through our day's work by helping out each other. Well, that's why some of us are multimillionaires, and some of us are still scratching to get by. 
Right, you, you you always pull the millionaire card out, you know. Yeah, you know what? It's pretty appropriate. You, if you, I, you know what? If I if I wasted my time on baby showers and birthday parties, I'd still be working in the next cubicle to you. Yeah, but you know what? That's probably why you got no friends right now. It's probably why. What makes you think I have no friends? Are you kidding me? You're your friends because you're a millionaire. You know, I, I, mean, I couldn't care less why they're my friends. But by the way, most of the people who know me have known me for 25, 30 years. They knew me before I had anything. No, I, you I don't, don't know, know anything why. about me, and you know why you don't know anything about me? Because I keep it to myself, that's why. Because I don't do what you do. I don't come to work and tell every little dirty detail of my life. Well, you're a, you're a selfish person the way I see it, and I wouldn't be your well, friend. Well, you're a loser, and you're a loser who's going to be a loser all the way through that pathetic career of yours. There you go. Another loser. <laughs> that, uh, you know what, Art? I'd call him a fag, but then I'd sound like I'm 12 years old. No. Jerk off. That I'd call. One eight hundred five eight hundred Tom. It's Michelle on the Tom Likas show. Hello. Hi Tom. Hi. Um, I was just calling because I wanted to share a little experience that I had in the office, and I do agree with you. I think you should keep your personal life personal and not bring it into the office. Um, I had a coworker. Um, she is a female, and she brought a list for. Um, selling cookies for her granddaughter and she was taking it all around everybody and she asked me if I would like to buy cookies and I said I didn't want to really buy any cookies well then she came again and asked me a second time do you want to buy cookies and I was like no no thanks I don't want any cookies and finally she asked me one more time by leaving the list with all the names of the coworkers who bought the cookies. And then she came up, oh, are you going to buy cookies? So then I felt, like, trapped in a corner, like, oh, okay, I'm, I'll buy some cookies, start writing up a check, buy these $14 cookies, and when I get them, they're dough, and I got to cook them myself. <laughs> oh. Boy, I am so tired of this stuff. Yeah. And by the way, all you people who are going on breast cancer uh, marathons, and all you people who are going on AIDS walks and stuff, you know what? I'll handle my charity at home. Yeah. I don't need someone coming into the office and trying to hit me. I'm going to walk 25 miles this weekend. How much per mile can I put you down for? Shut up! <laughs> That's my story, Tom. Thank you, Michelle. I appreciate the call. It's one eight hundred five eight hundred Tom. Here comes Eric on the Tom Likas show. Hello. Hey, Tom. So, can we agree that you're pretty much antisocial and that you don't? Oh you no, don't, I'm not antisocial at all. I work is work, and no, no, when no, I'm not at work, hey, you know that is work, when I socialize. Work is also life for most people. You know, most people well, live all, and work you only know? for people who don't intend to accomplish anything at work. You go insane. If you it's for people that, and you well, you like don't go insane if you have a good you career. Act like machines, but but again, if you had a good career, them. if you had a good career, this would not be a problem for you. What uh, would you that know be what? A Why didn't you, you go to work and have fun? You would not need. Uh, uh, you know what? If 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 you really knew what you were doing, you'd have a fun job. You would yeah. not have to have a job that's boring where you have to try to make it fun. You would have a fun job. Some people like to interact, though. What about that? You don't like to interact, so fine. You don't get any. I don't care what they like. I don't. I here and I'll say hello, good morning, and stuff like that. But as far as uh, uh, knowing what your personal life is about, and what your kids are doing, and what charities you're supporting, this is none of my business. Well, no, it's not about that. It's about just interacting with people. People, interact I, uh, with you people. can interact with people without telling them every detail of your life. No, 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 you don't need to know about them, but uh, maybe other people want to know. Have you ever they may want to know. It's none of their business. Team morale. You know what morale is, man? Morale makes money for companies. It's not my problem. You Happy know what? You know make what makes money. money? You know what makes money for, for companies? Work. Hey, buddy, that's all I got to say. So yeah, that's, a, cause you don't, that's because you don't have much to say. You've got no ammunition. Carla on the Tom Likas show. Hello, Carla. Hi, Tom. I would yes. like to say that, you know what, I feel for you guys, but I feel for us women that are not as social as everybody else. They, you know, they really get the brunt end of that. Um, I mean, you're like, 
they're after you immediately. Like, why don't you want to be? Why don't you want to, you know, participate? Family things. You're a girl. You, you know, we have no car to play. Like that's how I feel. I get no car to play. I wish I could be a guy sometimes, just to be like, I'm a dude. Leave me alone. That's my excuse. <laughs> really. But guys don't say that. Guys, guys jump right in. You know, I, I just feel bad for the women. You know, for myself. Not every girl. I'm like the one girl out of the whole office that just, you know. And you become like a, you're like a target. You start thinking about your job, which is sad. You shouldn't be thinking about that. You should be working, not socializing. You know, not everybody wants to be friends at work. But uh, yeah, I don't want very... anyone at work knowing anything about me. I agree. I mean, I totally agree. Work is work. I put on my game face. People are always like, wow, you're so stern. You're so serious. I'm like, no, I'm working. Do you not know what it is to work? You know, after work, then I got the socializing face. You know, I got the game face on. If I feel like talking to you after work, then that's cool. But, you know, don't harass me at work. I'm working. You know, emails, it's just too much. Emails, post boards. I mean, they go crazy. It's too much. I, I I know exactly what you're talking about. I feel your pain. I absolutely do. Jessica on the Tom Likas show. Hello. Hi, Tom. How are you? Great. Um, you know, I have a comment. I just think you would just stop to work for, quite honestly. I could see that. Well, I, I am not a manager. Wait, wait. Stop right there. I'm not a manager. It, well, it, to work around you would suck. I mean, if you're Why would it suck? about a bunch of socially inept people... Not communicating, not getting to know each other, not celebrating milestones. I mean, that's just normal behavior. I don't want to be dragged in. And no one should be made to, uh, to feel like they have to be dragged in. Absolutely shouldn't be made to feel like they have so to. So don't be coming to me and saying, I want money for this or that, or I want you to buy my kids Girl Scout cookies. That, yeah, that is just too much information. should be an option, but putting that out there should be... I, mean, I don't think I so. Participate in that. And, I, yeah. and I, frankly, I wish companies would start clamping down on this stuff. Well, I just, I don't think so because when you work 40 hours a week with people and you sit in the office, you know, it just sounds like maybe people haven't paid enough attention to poor little Tom. Well, no, no, Donning, I, again, I say to you, there's no need for anybody to pay attention to me. I work. You know, I'm working right now. I'm not sitting around gossiping with people. This is my job, and I'm doing it right now. There's no sitting here planning picnics or uh, planning birthday parties. I'm working. And but to say that people that are participating in that aren't working too, you're saying uh, they're, they're, they're not working. They're not working. They're not. They waste person. time. They waste no. time and company materials at the office, xeroxing things, faxing things, using the company email. They are, they're using company resources and time to plan their social lives. And they can still do that and work. I again, I think companies ought to clamp down. Well, I think if they're not working, the company should clamp down. But people are, I mean, it sounds like a bunch of socially inept people is what you're promoting. There's nothing to do with socially inept people. You know what? The time to be social is when you're not at work. Well, that's ridiculous. It's not ridiculous. Yes, it is. And and parents should promote raising funds for our schools. Our children need that. Fine. Go ahead and do it. Go ahead and do it in your neighborhood. Go to people in their free time when they are not prisoners in an office uh, and, and they have to listen to your sales pitch. Go to their homes. Well, if it's so completely appalling for that person, then they can turn it off. Uh, again. I think I want companies to clamp down so I can come in and do my work. Um, I And I know I'm not the only one who is sick and tired of this stuff. Sick and tired of it. <laughs> well, I think it's a wonderful way to to be a co-worker and, and friendly person in the I office. I couldn't care less. By the way, I couldn't care less what people think of me at work. You know who I worry about? I worry about how my boss feels about me. I wonder how the president of the company feels about me. Well, but but you really working in your little cubicle there trying to figure out ways to kill time until 5 o'clock? I couldn't care less what you think of me. If you're not buying the candy bar from her little Becky or Tommy. What? Maybe you're really going to piss your boss off if you're not buying a little candy bar from I her. I don't. I no. You know what? I, in my experience, it's never been the boss. 
Well, it's I, always somebody in the office who doesn't do any work. Well, <laughs> that's just ridiculous. Somebody like you, for God's sake. Tom. Like is. 1-800-5800-TOM 1-800-5800-866 I was with this girl for like a year and a half and that was just a mess you know I broke up for like four months ago and we're talking two to three girls every week since then I love that that's just because I'm listening to you man The Tom Likey Show It's 1-800-5800-TOM. What is it with people coming into the office with all their personal nonsense? Baby shower, birthday parties. Buy Girl Scout cookies for my daughter. Outrageous. This is John on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hey, Tom. Hey, John. Great to finally talk to you, Dad. I've been hoping hoping to get through for so long now. I agree um, with you. <laughs> my cell phone is about to die, so I'll try and make this quick. I spent over an hour today setting up a conference room in the Fortune 500 company that I work for in Southern California to, uh, to get it ready for a, a baby shower that a couple of my coworkers were throwing. Not only did it waste their time, for actually going and, and performing this whole spectacle. But I got pulled off of my projects and my responsibilities to go and set everything up and carry all the gifts up from the, sh- from the, the loading dock downstairs. I mean, it's just ridiculous. I can't stand this stuff. Uh, this is the result, I think, of the influence of women in the office. You know, they love to talk about women in the workplace, the progress women have made. As far as I can see, mostly what women have done is they've brought their personal social lives into the office and they uh, slow down the wheels of commerce. That's what they do. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, I just couldn't stand it. I mean, I, I had a lot of stuff I had to get done this morning. I have a very busy schedule. And uh, to get pulled off of my, my responsibilities for so long just to take care of something that they so easily could have planned in their free time, uh, I mean, it just absolutely made me want to pull my hair out. I uh, completely understand where you're coming from. Believe me, I'm on your side, John. This is Mike on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hey, Dad. How are you doing? Doing okay, sir. Great. Tom, I, I think most of these people that that allow people to walk all over them are, are just insecure losers. They don't have the self-esteem or the the the... the the, the self confidence to say no. You are in a position where you are as self assured as anybody, and you can say no. You, you know that your job is not at stake. That your reputation reputation is not at stake. I think most of these people are just afraid that they're going to lose their job, or other people are going to think badly about them. And who cares? You should do well enough in your job that you shouldn't care about anybody wanting you to do anything else for them. Just do your job and get it done. I didn't get where I am by worrying about what the peons at work think about me. Exactly. Yeah, you you don't need to. You do your job. You do it exceptionally well. And, you know, if they think badly of you, who cares? You have the confidence and the ability and screw everybody else. Let them do what they want to do, but don't bring you into it because you've got your things to do. No doubt about it. Mike on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Tom, how's it going? Okay. Well, I, I had it happen to me today. I turn 30 tomorrow. I purposely do not come into work my birthday because of all the BS that happens. It's an hour ordeal. Let's have cake. Let's everybody sit around and waste time. I've got work to do. I don't want to waste time. I got stuck today. They, they tricked me into a day early. I walked out there. They sang. I walked back. I'm here to make money. That's what I want to do. Oh, boy. Uh, they, they hit me up for my boss. Hey, we've got to buy him a birthday gift. We've got to buy him a Christmas gift. Why? I give them $100,000 in profit a month. I think that's enough. I'm not spending more of my money on them. I agree with you. you know, it's it's ridiculous, and it's just a waste of time. Don't bother me. I'm here to work. If you're not going to work, then go somewhere else. Good points. Jake on the Tom Likas Show. Hello? Yeah, hey, Tom. Um, well, first of all, to start off, that Eric guy and the guy before him, they're simple. 
they don't know what the hell they're talking about. <laughs> yeah. Now, it's the, I agree with you totally. The only thing I don't agree with is not just women. I work in the construction field, and guys are just as bad. I come here, do my job. My job is to make sure these guys go home the same way they came to work. Not to sit there and listen about who's doing who, who's having a barbecue, who's throwing what, whose kid is what. It's, that's not my job. My job is to make sure they go home the same way they came here. Now, as for socializing with any of, these, uh, any of my coworkers out of work, I try not to do it. Why am I going to put myself in a position where if I have one drink or two or I decide to talk to a girl or I, or I do something stupid and having to hear that when I come to work? Construction is just like high school, and I hate high school because of all the of gossip, all the talking, everybody saying this, everybody saying that. Just stick to yourself, do your job, and don't worry about anybody else. Jake, I agree with you. This is Christopher on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hello, Dad. Hello, son. Hey, I got a quick question for you. Wouldn't this not be considered workplace harassment, going around, going up to all the employees, asking them for stuff? Well, the kinds of harassment that are forbidden are sexual harassment. Sexual harassment is forbidden. But harassing hey. people about other things, my God. Uh, they've had court cases over people at the office who come to you and try to preach religion to you. No, I you stick to myself. I mean, I'm an electrician. I bust my ass eight hours to the minute. You know, I don't want someone coming up to me asking me if I want to buy candy bars or donate any money to some uh, of their daughter's cheerleading camp or anything like that. If they don't can't afford it, then don't put your kids through it. Well, that, that's how I feel about it, but unfortunately, a lot of people seem to disagree. Layla on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hi, Tom. How are you? Great. Okay. Um, I'm also sick of all this um, uh, workplace stuff things that women bring. You know, uh, we women are two, are two groups. One group come to work just like you to make money and go home. They have their cousins, their friends from high school, uh, relatives of husbands and others. They have their own social life. But the other group don't have life. They just come to work to socialize. And I realized if they wanted to work, they would stay at home. These are the same people, I suspect, who come to the supermarket or the post office. You're in line. You're waiting your turn. And rather than just doing their business, they start getting into long conversations with the person, the cashier, the clerk. Yeah. Uh, these are the same people, I think, who they've never heard of a debit card or a credit card. They have to reach, and, deep, uh, yes. they have to reach deep into their pocketbooks somewhere at the bottom where they find a checkbook. And they mm -hmm. very slowly write the name of the store. Albertson Supermarket. And then they, they dot their eyes with hearts and then they write it in the reg, Albertson, they write it in the check register and they make sure they take as long as they can. These are the same people. Yes. And, you know, yeah, I, I have a solution for this. If, if people who hire these women say that you're working on commission, not salary, they don't do this because they will have to work. Unfortunately, we don't all sell things at work, so it's kind of hard to have a commission. Imagine if I was getting a commission for this. Oh, my God. Uh, you know, all, I mean, all I mean is that they know whether they work or not, they will receive the salary. That's why. If the yep. women are really interested to socialize, call them after work. Tell them you want to go and visit them. They're never home because right. they want to go shopping right after work. <laughs> yeah. You know what? If you want to go shopping, if you want to sell Girl Scout cookies, you've got from 5 p.m. until tomorrow morning at 9 to do all the stuff you want to do. Yes. And uh, just like you, some of women like me are... Uh, are sick of this social life in in a workplace. We don't. I don't care what other other people do. I just want to go there, do my work, come home. I have lots of cousins and friends and people who are thinking like me, and I really enjoy being with them. Work is work. Eight hours, go there, work, dedicate. Your uh, your boss is not paying for you to throw uh, baby showers or birthday parties for others. You know. You are right, Layla. Thank you so much. I appreciate the call. Here is uh, Laura 
on the Tom Likas show. Hello. Hi. Tom Likas, thank you so much for all that you do. You're welcome. You are amazing. I tell you, I'm doing a job. I'm doing the show seven nights a week. I have to drive 100 miles a day, and I could not get through it without you, my man. Thank you so much. Absolutely. Well, here's what happened to me. I work for a very famous TV retail store. I'm sure you've heard of it. You know, the king of selling TVs. Yeah. And they hire people for the Christmas season and into Super Bowl season because that's the heavy time, and I did a lot for them. And it came down to, you know, they had to decide between two people to keep on after the busy season. And I think I got fired because I was hot. You know, there was a women, an office full of women that were fat and married and cared about birthdays and babies and all that S. And I could care less. And I got fired for being hot. It was a choice between me and a girl that was married and pregnant. And, oh, my goodness. And, you know, they let me go because I didn't care about it. And it was ridiculous. Unbelievable. Yes, quite. And all those people out there that care about babies and birthdays and marriage, you know, they can just go to hell because when you go to work, you need to be professional and concentrate on your work. I wasn't going on my face during my work day, and, you know, I was doing my job. So, oh, well. I have a question for you, Tom. First time, long time. Uh, how come you never mentioned anything about, the, like, pet auditions? Well, I wish I could. Tom Likas Show.